This is video two of four. So I've done an unboxing of this, the newly arrived AC200, oh sorry, not AC, <laughs> EB200P. And now we'll just have a quick look at the features of this beast. I'll put up some, I'll put up a still and I'll show you the the comparison of this to the AC200 and the AC200 Max, that's what this is commonly compared to. Literally just unbox this, still got some manufacturing bits. I've stuck it on this, which was a wheeled, little wheeled move, movers trolley, very cheap. I think you definitely need to get a trolley with this because it is a heavy unit. This EB200 is basically the successor to the AC200P. The Max still has the ability to plug in external batteries, whereas this thing just has the input for uh, charging. It does have input for both solar and AC, which is kind of cool because you can charge both at once. And I'll put up some facts and figures about that. Um, so interestingly, this is the 200 40 volt version. I see people complain about these rubber covers. Look, I think they do the job. They're a bit kind of floppy. I've seen people rip them off, but I don't know why you bother doing that. Why not keep them there, keep the dust out at least. So your cables all terminate in this XT90. That's a nice big solid cable there. I think the, what have we got on the MC4? Uh, 14 AWG cable for that. So um, 600. 600 volt, 200 degrees. I think that's going to be more than adequate to charge this for what it's going, what the, the limits of the device are. Uh, and of course you have all the different ports here. So we've got wireless charging on the top. Now, the way I understand it, this wireless charging, the output's 15 watt, but split. So if you put two on, you'll get half per, but if you put one on, you'll get 15. I don't particularly like wireless charging. I think it's slow, right? It's 15. If you want to charge your phone, you got your USB-C. 100 watt here, that's going to be a lot faster. 18 watt times two. So the detail is on there for your USB-A's. 18 watt times two. The other one says five volt, three amp. Um, that's interesting. I'll have to do a comparison plugging stuff in there and see if they're different. But anyway, that's your USB-A. You've got your DC 12 volt 30 amp. That connector, um, there's heaps of options that are available to get plugs for those to plug in. People call that the RV plug because you can pull 30 amp as long as you have a decent um, enough cable to handle that draw. You'll get 12 volt 30 amp. These things here, they're called 5501s or something. You can get these plugs from Amazon, eBay, that kind of stuff. Um, and you'll pull 10 amp through that or just go with your standard cigarette adapter. 12 volt, 30, uh, 10 amp. Uh, all right, first turn on this thing. Whoop, come back. It is initializing. Now, what did it get out of the box on this? Okay, she, she has arrived. I am hoping you can see that display. It's not bad in full sunlight, actually, if you get the angle right. Um, but it has come in as 66% from the factory. Eighth of the seventh, is it? Yes. Friday the eighth at 9.54. Uh, okay, it's 11 something, so <laughs> I'll set the clock. At least the date's right. Um, I saw some pictures on the website which were showing uh, that it had a different display with a percentage graph. I think that was just a designer's mock-up because this thing is your standard Blue Eddy settings like on the AC200 or the AC200 Max. Um, anyway, that's kind of cool. So there's no PV. I might go get my panel since typical it was raining a minute ago. Now we have sun. I'll go get a panel and I'll plug it in just to have a look. Oh, that's interesting. This cable is separate the whole length which is cool all right let us see we got positive to positive negative 
positive to negative. Oh. Uh, all right, that's the DC input. This is the AC adapter. Um, so you have to use this cable here to plug in your solar and any DC source. Connect that up. Now this thing has little lugs to make sure you connect it the right way. Plug it in and screw it up. Simple. Let's have a look. I'm sure we're not going to get much. Oh yeah, I've got, at least I've got it showing that it is happening. <laughs> and with like one watt, because the sun is coming and going and my panel is shaded. But anyway, <laughs> it's getting one watt. Well. Of course, one thing with the blue eddy is, oh, I turned it on, plugged it in and it tripped out. What happened there? Okay, that, oh, I heard a click and the adapter went to red, but it's not, oh, that was just saying it's charging. So this jerry-rigged solar here, I've got six watts of solar going in, 416 watts of AC. I think the, there's probably plenty of pictures of that, but the EB70 is obviously a lot lighter. All right, I'm gonna leave that to charge up.